this episode about Belize, I would like to start with the traditional Georgian houseware state. It's located in the historical area of Avlabari and built on the rock with an amazing view over the city. It has two separate areas dividing the host and guest by a small backyard covered by grapevines. I felt very welcomed by the host and reminisced the Georgian hospitality with the gratitude. My apartment is conveniently located to the city center, which are mostly explored by walk, as well as to iconic place in Belize, the main cathedral of the Church of Georgia, the third tallest Eastern Orthodox cathedral in the world, built on the top of the hill and is well seen on any city panoramic views. Holy Trinity Cathedral is commonly known as Ameba, which means in Georgian Trinity. It was constructed between 1995 and 2004 to commemorate 1500 years of autocephaly of the Georgian Orthodox Church and 2000 years from the birth of Jesus. The construction of the church was proclaimed as the symbol of the Georgian national and spiritual revival and was sponsored mostly by anonymous donations from several businessmen and common citizens. Another gem of Avlabare district is Queen Derijan's Palace, famous with its elegant wraparound balcony, uplifted on the hilltop and opening the sweeping views of Belize, which are much more stunning than any other vantage point. The fortified complex was built in 1770s for Queen Derijan, the wife of King of Kartli Kahiti Kingdom, Erakli II. In the early 19th century, Darijan was relocated to St. Petersburg and the former residence became a home to theological seminary and parish schools. Now it's a walking nunnery and the Holy Lord's Transfiguration Convent. There is also a small church and a charming garden on the palace grounds. Admission to the complex is free, but you need to check out the time when the balcony is open. Just underneath the palace there is a green spring-lined wall with water tickling down softly, which local people often call the crying wall. Short distance walk via Riki Park, which I was talking about in my previous episode about Belize, to reach Baratashvili Bridge. I haven't expected to discover so much street art in Belize. Turns out that the city has quite a few emerging new artists eager to leave their mark. However, a large portion of Belize's street art is actually underground like Baratashvili Bridge, but some of them you can see on the street house walls around the city as well. In this video about Belize, I would like to emphasize on the artistic part of the city. There are plenty of different sculptures and monuments, street art and paintings, as well as quirky buildings around the city. One of them is Leaning Clock Tower attached to a puppet theater. 
It was designed by Rizzo Capriazzi, who built the theatre himself over a time span of 30 years, reusing old pieces from the abandoned structure of the old town, and from buildings destroyed following a major earthquake. The weird clock tower was added in 2011, after a four-year construction phase. During the weekend there are a lot of small and bigger markets around the city, selling souvenirs, clothes, books and little jewelry from semi-precious gems. This is also a place for locals to chill out and meet with friends. Wandering around streets in Belize is one of my favorite things to do. I love watching a mixture of different styles of architecture, look at the sculptures and monuments, but also to get into building entrances and the courtyards. Now I would like to take you to one of Tbilisi's most recognizable landmarks and a favorite Instagram spot, the Kaleidoscope House. It is the only house in Tbilisi that is decorated completely and utterly with stained glass window fragments. This historical building dates back to the 19th century, being that the stained glass windows are decorated with exquisite carvings and ornaments and have been preserved for over a hundred years. Since today we are talking about artistic Tbilisi, I cannot miss the main theatre of the city. The Georgian National Opera and Ballet Theatre of Tbilisi is an opera house situated in Rostavele Avenue, founded in 1851 by Russian Count Mikhail Varantsov. Tbilisi Opera is the main opera house of Georgia and one of the oldest such establishments in Eastern Europe and Western Asia. I was lucky to get a ticket to the theatre. Normally it's very busy and overbooked. Since 1896, after the fire, the theatre has resided in an exotic neo-Moorish edifice, originally constructed by Victor Schroeter, a prominent architect of German origin from St. Petersburg. Although definitely oriental is decoration and style, the building's layout, foyers and the main hall are that of a typical European opera house. Today we are going to watch the ballet, The Evening of George Balanchine, dedicated to great Georgian ballet choreographer and made mostly on the music of Russian composers Tchaikovsky and Stravinsky. If you enjoyed watching this video, I encourage you to subscribe, click like and hit notification bell button to get updated of the new releases.